Good evening, everyone. System Chalk here with the 43rd episode of Cult of Simulator, The Bright Young Thing Legacy, playing as David Ellison. Uh, Yuzabet has been going through a few ordeals in the name of the Mirror of Glory. Um, we, <laughs> we thank them for their service. Um, but we are going to be focusing on some new expeditions. We've got a little bit of money. Uh, we could use more, but it's always good to push forward if possible. Um, I need some more notoriety. Now, I should be getting some from, uh, from Saliba. Out in the night, my follower is whispering words that sometimes they might mean. Even if their victim knows the words are lies, they may not care. Uh, but the other big thing is the uh, claiming the books from the Kuznetsov Endowment. So let's start with the Silver Book, a manual of the Ordo Limea, an order of quasi-immortals who maintained a secret enclave at the source of the River Limia in the Roman province of Hispania Gallicaea. So let's translate the work. And explore-wise, let's get back to work. So where did my percussigant go? I'm painting it. My recent work is considered significant. I may yet earn a living from this, but nothing is certain. Honestly, we just kind of made our money back on that, so not my favorite. Nevertheless, let's go to Foxley Meadows. So, Lad Cat Caro, and a couple money. Uh, the path through the mountains uh, to the high meadow will be hard. The peasants of the mountains will seek to drive us away. If we return home safe, we may struggle to shake off the visions of this place. Actually, you know what? Let's not bring Cat Caro in this time. Let's bring Yuzabet. Uh, and full minute for the passion. So that's usually an indicator for me to do a commission. And then he is returned attended by a prisoner rendered docile with delight. So this will be good for the reputation based paintings, although we still have other other tasks to take care of. Now that we've got some reserves, let's repair the Wildering Mirror so I can go back through the um, so I can go back through the Peacock Door. Where I can, it wouldn't be a bad idea to do more burglaries with Enid or Neville, um, but for now we'll worry about the Wildering Mirror. We can begin to repair this, but we'll take at least a bronze spintra or uh, to purchase the necessary materials. And Season of Ambition's coming up, so it's good that we got a uh, replacement prisoner, so more realistically, we're probably just going to get Saliba to do his thing again. I suppose I could send Rhaenyra out as well, but Rhaenyra is there to make sure they don't leave. Alright, our expedition plans for the next challenge. It'll consume funds. I can add funds now, or I can send another follower. So we have the Fifth Eye Curse, Heart or Winter. Um, the High Passes also require uh, Heart or Winter, so it seems to me like we want to add Violet and Eau Claire, and then we'll add another Moth Follower when we can, and um, some money. Despair prowls elsewhere, no dread empowers this despair, it's over for now. We prepare the silver book for study. A manual of the Ordo Limea, an order of quasi immortals who, immortals who maintained a secret enclave at the source of the river Limia in the Roman province of Hispania Gallicaea. This manual was compiled by one Burzgash, who claims that he jo came to join the Ordo from the city of Messenger Eagles after he abandoned the service of the Ivory Dove. Members of the Ordo took an oath to the silver ch sorry, took an oath, the silver chain, that forbade men to lie with women or women with men. For what may come is not always the crime of the sky, yet that is a furious danger. It was apparently permissible for men to lie with men and women with women. In fact, Burzgash suggests that this should be encouraged to distract from other temptations. Excuse me. Apparently I wanted a fresh one. I finished the manuscripts. Time alone in a quiet room with a living mind. That's all I need. Sorry, just one second. 
All right. I finished the manuscript. I don't suspect I will turn this in anytime soon, but I can... I have it in reserve, and let's try and get rid of the stains. Not really clear what I want to do a painting on right now. Um, let's do the formula vigilant. Those who know will understand. I was will the suppression bureau. The follower is at work on the mirror. And let's get another winter in. Call upon the Madrigard, who cannot be unbalanced. The hour called the Madrigard is at home in the cold. She will almost certainly keep us from falling. So no money for this one, given that we're just trying to get rid of a staleness. And I have drunk the light of their mind. It thrills and fills me. The marks brighten in me. The mirror is repaired. It shines again as it did once before. Okay, so, uh, talk-wise, let's turn in with Madame Bichet first, and then we will uh, get another another body. I received the currency of the secret world, and my patron has let tantalizing information slip, so... Glimmering and mystique. Talk to Saliba again. Significant conversations in a smoky meeting room. What do I need from my follower? A sufficiently persuasive disciple can probably lure a susceptible companion back to us. The manual prescribes potential countermeasures to protect those who might be tempted to go against the oath. Masks, disfigurement, severe poetic disciplines. Those who do break it are punished with death, although there are lesser punishments prescribed for various acts that don't involve actual coitus. An invocation is included which, has used, which was used to incorporate these punishments into summoning rites. All right, let's translate on Matthias and the Amethystimago pursuit. Uh, the di diagrams and illusions, sorry, illusions. The diagrams and illustrations, even across the centuries, are elegant, hypnotic, occasionally erotic in Aramaic. Lock the study door, the work begins. And I probably should have been heading to the peacock door right away. The peacock door reflects the mirror I hold in my sleep, and the mirror reflects the peacock's door. Already a sensuous shiver ripples its surface. It aches for fracture, and when I find that satisfaction, I will enter. My recent work is considered significant. I may yet earn a living from this, but nothing is certain. Now, regrettably, we did not get the... Um, we do not get the staleness removed. That'll sort itself out. Uh, I also can't use the fleeting reminiscence to get rid of the fascination because it's not going to be around long enough. <clears throat> so in the meantime, let's deal with some more uh, more commissions. Frost Garden shivering, we've made it through the mountains. So now is the time to add some money. We'll add a moth follower when we can. I have drunk the light of their mind, it thrills and fills me. The marks brighten. So I'll probably do a follow-up, even though I'm going to need to repair the... Oops, sorry. Against the Watchers, a powerful deception. But closer, closer still, closer. Keep looking, closer, and close your eyes. Um, so yeah, we'll probably need to repair the mirror uh, sooner than anything else, but I have to get another body just because it obviously it takes a while, and so the essentially the Season of Ambitions can appear a couple more times uh, than that I can get um, victims, so uh, it's just a nice little safety precaution for me, I think. 
Okay, and I prepared the text for study. An account of a cult and a cult romance. A certain mech claims to have written this in a single night as part of his initiation into the Theban branch of the House of Leith, that order of immortals who used the arts of water to conceal themselves. Matthias defied us to hunt, uh, sorry, to hunt the names of the moth in the wood to populate his pinned collection. The amethyst imago had dallied with the witch and sister, but she'd returned to the wood to plead the moth's pardon. The moth, as a whim or a penance, sent her out to lure the long to a slough of nightmares. Okay, happy to get the vagabond's map in this case. Oops. I saw the red church again last night with its pews of bone, the stained glass and shades of ruby, the golden altar that beats like a heart. That night the names of the grail gathered to speak of those long who'd sworn off the pleasures of the bedchamber, save between man and man or woman and woman. They still pay the tribute of delight, an ivory said. They do not bear fruit, a lovely said. If forge and son had only joined, a thirstily lamented. Then they fell to gossiping of the long of the house of Leith and their deeds in the desert. I remember it still. I really got these distances off. Okay, so, mirrors cracked. Uh, we're gonna leave the dream slot open until we can do something about it. We have a season of suspicion coming up, so I'm probably gonna have to destroy the evidence before too long. And then, it does also mean that I'm gonna wind up losing some notoriety sooner than I'd like. Um, but, what? Well, we'll see what comes up. Here's the manuscripts. What do I want as my inspiration? Probably not fascination, because that I just want to expire, if anything. Um, let's do another part painting. Those who know who will understand, as will the Suppression Bureau. I may turn in with Dr. Redeem uh, first, but I think, yeah, I think we're just going to get the second, um, the second body before I, I go too far on anything else. My minion is returned, attended by a prisoner rendered docile with delights. I received the currency of the secret world and my patron has let tantalizing information slip. So there's their addition for us because of the secret histories. This is the time where, you know, normally it would be nice to be upgrading some more lore, but I've already got so many books which are going to be getting me new things, so I'm not going to follow up uh, with that quite yet. I am, however, going to, again, do like I said before, we're going to send Saliba out to grab some more, more food. A sufficiently persuasive disciple can probably lure a susceptible companion back to us. And we already have the winter... So yeah, we've got everything that we need for this one. I'm also pretty happy the fascination shouldn't bother me unless we get particularly unlucky. Yeah, but I do obviously want to make sure I've got reserves. There was a vision swing wide, a little darkness will mellow my light. Even dread has its uses. Matthias loved the Imago, did he? Can long love? Or has that organ of their soul been desiccated beyond repair? The Imago loved Matthias. Did she? Or did she only enact a whim? He pursued her through the wood, but at the last she turned aside from the nightmare slough, and they lay together where the bounds grow bright. So they learnt the Grail's pleasures, and this is the lore they won. So, delightful sacrament, and now we will take care of the encircling Tantra. The explorer and entrepreneur T. Everett Duplantis once attempted to plunder the temple where this text was held. His fate is recorded in an appendix. And we wound up with an unexpected amount of money. My recent work is considered significant. I may earn a living from this, but nothing is certain. 
So I am trying to generate notoriety in a time when I'm under investigation, but that's pretty much the way it's going to go. Now this is a real shame because I did just give up a, um, I did just give up a fleeting reminiscence for something that wasn't going to bother me. Uh, but that's life. Um, let's go and use my newfound freshness to paint a real, a real special painting. Um, I am going to need to replace more notoriety, so let's just do another form of vigilant. Call upon the Elegist from whom nothing can be taken. The Elegist knows what is already lost. His power will almost certainly protect us. So again, this is against the curse. So in this case, we, we know we're going to pass it, but whether I pass it without consequence is the question. And it is the weary detective on the case right now, so we may get lucky as far as the, the outcome. Out in the night, my followers whispering words that sometimes they might mean. Even if their victim knows the words are lies, they may not care. Right, so we'll use the restlessness in the reputation, or the um, passion painting, assuming that that's the one that we need to do next. Either way, we're going to paint next. This is work I can be proud of. With publicity, it will sell. My recent work is celebrated. My name is well known, and my work has done well. Okay, so we're doing all right for funds now. Um, that's gonna, f it's definitely gonna fall away sooner than it might seem. But it's enough for me to, it's enough for me to kind of get some basic work done. In this case, I am gonna wait the 11 seconds because you'll see that there's two staleness, so I want to work on that right away. Um, but given that I have a little extra cash, I may want to consider uh, finishing off the winter painting. Minion is returned, attended by a prisoner rendered docile with delight. And I'm gonna do that one more time because I think my new standard is gonna be to have two in reserve. So thank you for that, Saliba. We're gonna send you out again. Please do do that silver tongue thing you do very well, except for the fact that you got winter, so apparently you would be worse at it. A sufficiently persuasive disciple could probably lure a susceptible companion back to us. Um, okay. If this ever reaches trial, I will be in serious danger. Even if the hunter is disposed of, another may find their notes. So I maybe should have dealt with the evidence first. Have an impact. And I prepared the text for study. The encircling tantra speaks of the serpent gate, that hungry portal, sometimes known as the spider's door, which is sacred to the mother of ants, through which the great hooded princes pass. It is a bit of a shame to see the dream slot wasted like this, but we gotta work with what we've been given. And we are, this is the last of the Rending Mountains, so we're going to be moving on to the Mausoleum of Wolves next. The, oh, sorry. No, we're moving on to the Rending Mountains. It's the Lone and Level Sands that we're going to move to um, afterwards. I have drunk the light of their mind. It thrills and fills me. The marks brighten in me. We won't pay for paint because, again, we're trying to get the staleness taken care of. The nourishment of blossoms. We've dipped cloths in ammonia and bound them around our faces to deaden the foxily scent. Even so, our heads swim. Our bodies respond to a half dozen contradictory desires. Here are the bones we sought. Move them and get out. Okay, I want to be careful about any dread that emerges. And liaison, the raptures of understanding. My lover and I contend in the spaces above and beneath the flesh. I must match their intensity. Together we are brighter. My recent work has drawn some attention. Something should sell. So happy for the contentment. Still more fascination, which could be a liability, but we it hasn't bothered us so far. Uh, for now, let's go work with commissions. On 
the night my followers whispering words that sometimes they might mean, even if their victim knows the words are lies, they may not care. Fox lilies are white as cave skin, white as frost, white as unsullied sheets. It is hard to look away. We will close our eyes and struggle away with our treasures. Uh, rabbinic grains. My bites are the youngest of the lionsmith servants. When rendered to powder, they retain their potency, but not their beauty. We have another arriving call. Uh, Byzantine tinked. And some followers who want a break. <laughs> okay. So, probably more notoriety than I really need right now, although I did have a drought before, so I'm probably more inclined to to have more notoriety than less, which is obviously different from how I normally play. So, let's move on to the Mausoleum of Wolves. This chilly monument was built long before Rome fell. Stone, wool, stri stone wolves watched the door. A chamber within was carved from rock to await fragments of the sun at the, its prophesied funeral procession. That procession never came, but the dead are drawn here. So that's going to suggest that we have some winter to deal with. Did the sun ever come here when its death was pronounced? Perhaps that pronouncement was premature. In any case, if we usurp its progress, we'll have to face avalanches, furious ghosts, and a door sealed by adept architects. Let's be ready. The Tantra includes an invocation, but cautions helpfully that the invocation is of insufficient power to reach the Serpent Gate from the Hunter's Gate. A road which has no destination is itself a destination, it adds helpfully. Back to the known and known Tantra. So we weren't expecting any books from the uh, from Fox Lily Meadows. This is one reason why I'm sort of uh, churning through the the works. Lock the study door. The work begins. Once we finish the seduction, I will deal with the damning evidence. Well, I might pick up some new commissions, but we pretty much want to get rid of the damning evidence. I've been lucky in the timing of things, but I don't want to count on that forever. Cat Caro knows the way. Cat Caro knows so many ways. We'll walk them together when the moon parts the curtains to peep into dark. So passionate memory. And I have some contentment. Hopefully Cat's content too. Minion is returned, attended by a prisoner, rendered docile with delight. Now, I'm very curious about the heart. Oh, yeah, right, because it's a hapless prisoner. Um, I always associated it with Grail, but there are uh, there are more. I don't know if it's more now or if uh, it's always been like that, and I always just focused on the, the heart. Anyways, uh, 10 seconds isn't a lot to give up, so we will talk with um, Madame Bechet and Dr. Adim. I may also turn in with Count Jannings, given the timing of things, but we are going to get rid of the evidence uh, soon. So we'll add Eau Claire. I'm going to have to add some money, uh, but I also need the four for the knock. There's what he needs. She is seeking pieces for the Notorious Karishim Review, and we have a free turn, which is lucky for me. Finish the manuscript. So the funny thing is, is that an individual commission doesn't take a whole lot of time, but if you think of it, I've actually given up 30 seconds uh, from getting rid of the evidence in order to, to turn in commissions. But again, those give me Spintra, they're still helpful. Uh, it's just one of these things where, and this is, I think, one of the, re when you hear people talk about how addicting Call to Simulator is, it is partly uh, the way that the timers work. It's a, a fu funnily enough, I don't know if this is intentional, but it's a bit like Civilization and the just one more turn characteristic. Uh, for those of you who like sort of reading about the back, kind of behind the scenes things in terms of gaming, Sid Meier's memoir came out, I believe it was this year, or well, last year now. Um, but uh, I really enjoyed reading it, but I'm pretty sure this is where I, I read it. It actually deals with where just one turn kind of comes from. And Effectively, it's the decision that there should be sort of no wasted turns in civilization. You should have some purpose for that turn. Um, now, obviously, you know, the 4X genre has developed over time. Some people prefer how that was handled in some cases rather than others. I know Old World, for instance, 
tries to get past the problem of if you have a like a lot of units you always want to move them every turn and this is one reason why people expect automation and then of course if you have automation you know is that a good decision or not i know people actually wish that there would be more automation in cultist simulator but that's sort of counter to what the the experience uh, is supposed to be but um in any case, uh, like the idea is that you should have a number of different tasks that you're trying to achieve. It shouldn't just be, okay, now is, you know, now is the time for X, and then you wait five turns, which don't mean a whole lot. You sort of have these sort of overlapping tasks that are finishing at different times, so that you've got a few different things that you can work on. And a little bit like Cultus Simulator, because the timers are sort of all over the place, and you've got lots of intermediate steps to follow through on. Even though this is ultimately a real-time game, whereas um, Civilization is a turn-based game, I sort of feel like the same operation is going on in the background, where you have got a number of things in the back of your head, you've got a number of tasks that you want to complete, but because they're nicely sort of overlapped with each other, um, you know, because there aren't sort of these discrete moments of like, okay, this is the time I should be finishing the session, it turns out that it's a game that you know has that quality that you know, some people call addicting. Um, I don't actually think like I, I, the reason why I use those terms is I don't actually think Cultus Simulator is an addictive game. I just happen to think it's one which is very good at sort of pulling in your time. Uh, although it would be very interesting to see. I you know I don't think Weather Factory is ever going to do a um, you know monetize monetization like a mobile game, but obviously. You know, I suspect there would be some serious conversations in terms of what's a good way to monetize a game like Cultist Simulator without feeling like you're taking advantage of people. Um, because obviously, you know, I'm susceptible to this. I've spent lots and lots of time in an individual session in this game. Um, which, you know, if there was a if there was a way to spend money inside of it, um, you know, certainly some personalities are going to be a little bit more susceptible to. Um, to uh, parting with their hard-earned cash in the moment. Sorry, I know. <laughs> I know. I keep saying I don't want to reduce the. Um, I don't want to reduce the playthrough down to a board organization, but that was bugging me for a really long time. All right, uh, I can try and get rid. Actually, you know what? I think the time has come um, because. This season of despair should be gone, and we have a free turn coming up. I think the time has come for me to do the winter painting. You never know, this might be a living. We'll use the invocation of the Ivory Dove. Those who know will understand, as will the Suppression Bureau. My own heart pumps more strongly. Uh, the hour called the Madrigard is at home in the cold. Cold. She will almost certainly keep us from falling. So let's add the funds. I prepared the text for study. Let's move straight on to the known unknown tantra. Carlos Garcia Sari, the ecstatic mystic of the Pyrenees, was known to recite this in three languages, though he never visited the subcontinent. The known unknown tantra describes a journey to the white door of the mansus, beyond which speech ceases. It describes the mantra which can be used at the right place and the time to achieve that door. And I receive the currency of the secret world, and my patron has let tantalizing information slip. All right. Talk-wise, we've got our prisoners. I can... Yeah, we're also good for money, so I think the time has come... Nope, sorry, what am I saying? Damning evidence. we got to deal with that first. So the um, many scarred Yizabet, <laughs> significant conversations in a smoky meeting room. What do I need from my follower? The scheme will most likely succeed. There is always a chance that something will go awry. I could spend money on better paints, or perhaps I could find more exotic pigments. Uh, this was a passion painting. Right, sorry, what am I doing? This is the special one. Frostguard and Shivering, we've made it through the mountains. So I'm going to want to start adding the Knock followers right away. The 
Doors of vision swing wide. A little darkness will mellow my light. Even dread has its uses. So this doesn't get rid of staleness, um, but I've made something unique, something extraordinary, something I'll never dare exhibit publicly. Um, I should read the description, though. What am I doing? What have I done? This will break someone's heart. Perhaps everyone's. So I'll just collect the big, uh, the big stack here, so... Two notoriety for that one. Dread, because it's the spooky painting. We've got the wolf divided. Caput Garret Lupinum. Uh, the sun was divided, and this is its wound. So I have an icy atmosphere, which I may... I could actually use this in summoning a Caligene, now that I think of it. Um, which would probably be a better use of the work slot right now. So let's use the sunset right. Uh, we'll add a bunch of forge, but I want to bring my knock followers in, so maybe we bring in... Um, Tristan... Nope. Okay, well, that's fine, because we can just bring in the forge followers then, so... Evel. Forge for the Smoky Spirit, summoning winter for its binding. It must know who will rule it. And we'll be picking up a new, a new snack on the way home. The light of a lantern can only ever reveal the space between forest shadows. Okay, so we have one more book until we finish the expedition, the Iron Book, but we should be in good shape. Also, again, financially we're doing quite well. I'm a little bit behind on getting rid of the staleness, but I did finally get my last painting. One thing I would like to do if I can, so if you think about what we need for uh, instruments, so I've got the door and the I want the mirrors, obviously, um, but I could give the Noonstone. Um, I could also give the Geminiad. Um, actually, the Icon of St. Agnes. Yeah, I could give both the Geminiad and the uh, Icon of St. Agnes. Uh, Merovine Idol, um, the Wakeful Tympanum is sort of the same as the painting. So there's a lot of instruments I could actually wind up giving to some of my followers, and I'll probably wind up doing that at some point. But we'll, uh, we'll deal with that later. Um, for now, though, uh, we're going to keep working on the expeditions where I can. I'm going to read the last of the books, and then at that point we should have we should have some more books to work with, or at the very least a clearer idea in terms of what the next few, few turns are going to be like. But for now, I will leave you to the rest of your evening. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, the last episode for this week should be tomorrow, if I've got this down correctly. Uh, so I will see you then. Take care.